As Christians, we are heirs of God. Join Gloria Copeland and Pastor George Pearsons as they share why you must come to this realization in order to have full access to your inheritance. Next on The Believer's Voice of Victory. Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Believer's Voice of Victory. Pastor George Pearsons is back with us. And we've already preached ourselves happy oh, glory to God. This has been so good. So don't miss, don't miss any of the broadcasts that we're doing here. It's about you. It's about what you inherit if you'll receive it. That's right. But you can't inherit if you don't know anything about it. So that's what we're doing in these days. We're going to just find out some things. We could probably <laughs> never get to the end of it, but we'll no, do vast. all we can do it's so to vast. learn about what belongs to me, yes. what belongs to you, mm -hmm. and what belongs mm -hmm. to you, church. Yeah. So don't miss these. We're talking, Gloria, about being heirs of God. We're partaking of the fullness of our inheritance, everything that belongs yes. to us. Yes. And we had a great day yesterday. We, we, we talked about some I wonderful things, it. just setting the foundation for this. And I got, I have several really great quotes from Gloria from yesterday. <laughs> Listen to this one. The benefits of the will belong to the family and I'm in the family. That's right. I'm in the family. And, and this, you can be in the family too. It's that's your right. choice. And then this other one, you just said this a little while ago, lift up your eyes and expand your horizons. Amen. And that's what we're doing. We're literally lifting up our eyes and expanding our horizons. And there, there are things that we don't realize that belong to us that as we search the Word, search the will mm -hmm. of God, mm -hmm. God's will for mm -hmm. us, that we'll find them and discover what belongs to us. I remember some years ago, many years ago, um, we had some family members that when I go see my parents in Massachusetts, we would sometimes we'd go visit them, but they weren't, they weren't really close family members, but they were still in the family. And um, they had passed away um, and so really hadn't heard anything about the family and didn't know about the services. We just had found out through other family that they'd passed away. Well, several years after they passed away, um, I was contacted by an attorney. Hmm. And I was told that my sister and I were in the will. You were in the will. And they left us money. Uh-huh. I had no Did idea. Did you have to pray about it before you Not received it? Not one second. I was <laughs> like, where's the check? They, well, they told me, they that's said, there'll be, there'll be a check in the mail that's coming to you very soon. <laughs> so we received that check and it was, it was part of our inheritance. It's part of what belonged to us. So, so many do not know and do not realize what belongs to them in Christ. And that's, that's, right. that's the investigation that we're and doing. And you don't have to die to get it. Jesus already he, got it for you. He already did. And, and he came back to, to um, see to it that the will was he put was in place. He was resurrected. He was resurrected. To back it up. To, ba to back up the will. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Isn't that something? All we have to do wow. is find out about it, believe it, yeah. receive it, or take it. That mm -hmm. word receive is to take. Take it and it'll manifest. It will manifest. You say, somebody might say, <laughs> I don't believe that. Well, you'll never have it, so don't worry about it. Yeah. I believe it. Well, I believe it, and it's worked for us, and it's worked for our family, and it's worked for a church full of people mm -hmm. it has. that know about it. But it you has. have to know about it before you can receive it. Yeah. But it's up to you. You don't have to take it. That's right. You have to be informed of the will. Yeah. And it's not good when somebody is a Christian and they pick up their Bible once a week and take it to church for an hour and then set it back down. You're not going to find out what the will of God is. Think be about good that way. Think about that yeah. as you would think about the reading of the will. If you were mm. in a very prominent, wealthy family, mm -hmm. and today you would find out what is marked off for you in the will. You'd go, I doubt you'd do play golf or do anything no, else. No, no, I would be there. I would be there <laughs> so, for the reading of the so will. So we have to do that. We have to get into the reading of the will and find mm -hmm. out what belongs to us and receive it. Yeah. It's been bought and paid for. Jesus paid for it himself. He bore the whole he curse did. for he us. He bore uh, sickness and disease. He bore poverty. He bore everything you can think of bad when he took that curse. That's right. And made us free if mm -hmm. 
we receive it. If we receive it. That's why we're word people, George. That's right. That's exactly right, because the will is <laughs> the word. This is it right yeah, here. it's it. Mm -hmm. I thought about it. You just said something, and it made me think about what I do as a pastor every Sunday. We all come together for the reading of the will. That's right. That's we good. Find, I like it. Every Sunday we find out what belongs to us, what is ours in yep. the will. Mm -hmm. And that that's what you guys have taught me, and I'm so appreciative for that's that. That's good. We come together for the reading of the we will. We come together for the reading of the will. I like Let's that. come together for the reading of the will. Let's start off like that, George, in our <laughs> services. <laughs> together <laughs> for the reading of the will. That's a great way. Amen. 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 We got to receive it. Have to That's receive the way it, it is with yeah. the scripture. The Lord yeah. tells you what belongs to you, but you have to receive it. And mm -hmm. that word in the Greek means take. take you it. have to take it. Yeah. So if you just, you could know, I, I've been in churches where there wasn't anything to take. You just, you know, <laughs> sit there and wait till the, <clears throat> till it's over yeah. and hope it'll be soon. You couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> there wasn't anything <laughs> to nothing take. To take. So go where there's something yeah. to take. <laughs> yeah, take it. <laughs> yeah. Let's look at our notes here at the top. And these notes are available to you, kcm.org, and go to the picture of Glory and Me, click onto it, and all of the notes that we're teaching from are available to you. Pastors, I encourage you to take these because these are great to be able to yeah. go back and refer to them, and they'll help you in your study. I find myself, Gloria, going back to some things that I've taught sure. in the, the, all yeah. of the outlines that we, they help me. Yes. They really help me. I go back, I refresh, and then you add more to it. So here on our notes at the top of the page, Romans 8, 16 and 17, mm -hmm. the Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Praise if indeed God. we suffer with Him, that we may also be glorified together. So we're heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus and I read yesterday from the article that Gloria wrote, Receive Your Inheritance. She said, I became heir to a fortune many years ago in Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> That's right. I gave my life to Jesus. At that moment, I was born again into the richest family ever known. I was born into the royal family mm -hmm. that owns and operates the universe. I received an inheritance so vast, it will take me all of eternity to fully comprehend it. Praise God. She knows what she's talking about. She does know what That's she's talking good. about. Receive your inheritance. <laughs> All that belongs to the Father became ours when we were born again. We became heirs of God, mm -hmm. children of the King, with the right to partake Praise of our full God. inheritance. But as we've talked about, many don't realize what belongs to them. They're, they're ignorant of Well, the, we didn't realize it for a lot of years. Yeah, true. We had to hear it preached from the Word to realize it. Yep. That's why it's so important to go to a church that preaches you the Word of Faith. I was thinking about the first time that Kenneth, you and Kenneth heard Brother Hagen, mm -hmm. Kenneth E. Hagen mm -hmm. on tape, you can have what you say, write your own ticket with God. We those, got it. Those we messages. It. We needed some things. And then in Tulsa, you did something most unusual, and that was you went, no matter what the weather was, you went to Brother Hagen's That's to right. sit under that teaching for his 10-day seminars mm -hmm. that he would have. Night and day. Night and day. <laughs> no matter what, the, you were talking about those ice storms that they would yeah. have, and you'd slide into the... But Tulsa, into, you'd get some ice in the winter. But, but you we really... Wouldn't, we didn't slow down. I mean, we slowed down, but we get, we went. <laughs> we that, had to slow down, but we went. And you were really hearing the, the reading of the will, what belonged yeah. to you, the, oh, we your were, righteousness Man, we in were Christ. in debt. We didn't have any money. We didn't yeah. have a good house. We didn't have a good car. Uh, we, needed, we needed something, and then we found it. You it found was the it. Word of God. It was revealed to you. Mm -hmm. You saw it in the Word, and you took it. You weren't fighting it. No, you no. weren't. No, we were hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you were hungry. We were hungry. You were hungry. We, in we this... were in our house, so the rented rollaway bed cost us six dollars a month or something like that. We didn't even own our own bed, George. Oh, Gloria. And uh, we began to find out about the Word of God, and it changed everything in our lives. He got, and it's still changing our lives. He, he got you out of Lodabar. We got out of Lodabar. Lodabar. Yeah, Lodabar. <laughs> Galatians four. And four says, uh, but when the fullness of time had come, 
God sent forth His mm -hmm. Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. Praise God. And because you are sons, God sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, mm. crying out, Abba, Father. Oh, that's Therefore, good. you are no longer a slave, but a son. That's right. And if a son, then an then heir, an heir yeah. of God through Christ. Oh, that's good. That's, that's exactly who we are. right. We're that's heirs. who we are. We have <laughs> to receive. You can be an heir and not take it. Mm -hmm. You can be an heir and not mm -hmm. even know about it. Yeah, that's right. You can be mad at somebody and they're wanting to give, read the will to yeah. you where you own something, but you don't want to go because you're mad. That, that reminds me of the prodigal son and how he left his father's house. He had everything, everything there yeah. that he needed. His all father belong. actually said to him when he returned, all that I had all was it, yours. All belonged to him. And he left and he went out into the world and he knew that was not, that was not going to fly. So he came home and he partook of the inheritance that already belonged Praise to him. God. His father said, everything that I have is already yours. It already belongs to you. That's right. And that's what the Lord is saying to us. All that I have is yours. Praise God. It belongs to you. I'm not going to be a prodigal. No, no, I'm not going to be a prodigal I'm either. I'm going to receive my <laughs> inheritance. I am receiving my inheritance. If you look here in B.2, it says heir. And I did some study in the Greek about the word heir, and simply it means one who receives an, heir, uh, an inheritance by right of birth. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Well, that says it, doesn't it? And you can really say it this way for us, one who receives an inheritance by right of the new birth, being born again in Christ Jesus. Yeah. The moment we are born again, well, you can put it this way, <clears throat> um, you know, there is a royal family in England and William and Harry are part of that royal family. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they have both now had children. And those children, as soon as they were born, I mean... They the, were heirs. They were heirs to the royal family. They don't even know it. Yeah, this one yeah. that was born some time ago, just a little while ago, um, <clears throat> Archie is his name. Archie? <laughs> Not Archie Bunker. <laughs> Not Archie Bunker. Okay. I thought the same thing. Archie, but it depends on what decade, you know. Uh -huh. but, but they they named him Archie. And little little Archie, um, he doesn't know yet what belongs to him. He doesn't know what's his. Mm -mm. But as he grows up and as he develops, he'll know and it'll be revealed to him what Archie? belongs to him. Archie. King Archie. <laughs> <laughs> Gloria's stuck on Archie. <clears throat> he, but, I get the point. But you know, I read this the other day that Archie is seventh in line to be king. Hmm. Well. Seventh in line to be king. I thought he'd be higher up than that. He, well, there's a few more people ahead of him. <laughs> but still, this, there's a baby that was born. This baby is in line to be king. And he doesn't even know yet what belongs to him. Well, the same thing That's happens. Right. It happens when us, with us when you were born again in Arkansas, yeah. when you received Jesus as your Lord, you, you didn't know near what you know now. Oh, no, I didn't know anything. But I was born again, yeah. so therefore I was an heir of God. You were an heir. You were an heir. An heir and all you had to kingdom. do is find out what belonged to you. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I did. When oh, I, I'm glad we found out. I, I'm so glad. When I came here and I found out things, I found out things after I got born again and went to the Little Baptist Church. I started finding out some things. Then I went to ORU and I listened to Oral Roberts himself preach. I found out more things. You know, one of the, one of the first message <clears throat> that I, one of the first messages that I heard Oral Roberts preach was, if you need healing, do these things. Yes, I remember that. And that was actually at a partner seminar, very was it, similar. Was it do these 10 things? Would he have 10 things? I think no? it was seven. He said seven. there were seven things that he did. And I actually have a book at home uh, that someone gave me uh, from the 50s. If you, if you need healing, do these things. Well, I was finding out. Mm -hmm. I was finding out what belonged to me. It. Then I came here. And this was, I call this the big kahuna. This was the... <laughs> 
<laughs> this was it. This, when I got here, I became totally immersed in my inheritance. Amen. I listened to the Word. I traveled with Kenneth in those early days. All of the meetings I went to, I, I, would, I would work the book tables, I would set up, I would do, I would help in all the different areas. But then when it came time for the Word, I sat there with my Bible and my Amen. notebook and I would write and I would take notes. And there would be times, they put me in charge of making the tapes. Oh, big job. <clears throat> it was a big job. I would wait by the side of the Those stage. Those kind of tapes. These, these kind of real cas real. Well, cassette tapes. Oh, cassette. Cassette tapes. Okay. And I would stand by the, the platform at the end and the person that was recording it was up there by the platform and he would hand off the tape. I would run out to the book tables. I would start with those wall and sack recorders and start making those tapes and people would come out and they would, it would get so busy, Gloria. They were $5 a tape and I would be, I'd be making these tapes and selling them at the same time. And all I could see were hands, people handing me $5 bills and I'd take the $5 and I'd give them a tape and I'd keep making the tapes. People were hungry to know what belonged to them, but you have to find out. That's right. And you, you know have what? To that opens it. you up for a great <laughs> blessing to be a distributor of the Word of God. A be a distributor of the Word of God. This is funny, Gloria. I was working the book tables one day. Kenneth had finished preaching. Here comes the mob out to the book tables to get the tape. And people are, people are handing me the money. Well, what I would do was on these, we're right out there where, P, I mean, I'm making the tapes, the machines are right yeah. there. And so what I would do is I would take the cassette tapes and put them right there by the opening of the player to record and I'd line them up and then I'd slap them in <laughs> like that. Well, I lined them up and there was one particular guy that was not very patient. He threw a $5 bill and he grabbed one of the blank tapes. <laughs> Shame on him. Let it. patience have her perfect work. That's right. The Bible Let patience says. have her perfect work. Anyway, all that to say, you have you have to research the will. Oh yeah. You have to research the word. Think about it. If you were <clears throat> a, in a family and you were heir to a, a hundred million dollar yeah estate, yes, you think you'd go to the meeting? <laughs> Yeah. You think you'd go to the reading yes. of the will? Okay. Well, that's the same thing. People that don't won't go to the church yeah. to hear it, they're they're missing out on more than that. There's a website. I'm trying to remember the name of the website. Maybe somebody here can remind me. But there's a website. I think it's called Lost Money. Um, and you go to the website, and it's lists of money that has amassed uh, that people haven't claimed unclaimed maybe unclaimed money, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But it's a website you can go to that you can find unclaimed inheritances and money that belong to people. Well, you got to go to the book yeah. and find out and claim, to you, you got to claim Amen. what has been unclaimed. People have left too much on the table. Oh yeah. I've set before you a table in the presence of your enemies, Psalm 23 says. And what we want to make sure is the table is clean. We yeah. don't want to leave anything. No. God does not want us to leave anything. We on want the table. to receive it. We want to receive whatever it is that He has for us. That's well, good, uh, let me. So we talked here about heir, um, and being being an heir by right of birth, new birth. And I wrote down here, my sister and I became heirs to our parents' estate by the right of birth. Mm -hmm. I, all I had to do was to be born. Mm -hmm. I was just born. You didn't deserve it. You just got it. I. <laughs> <laughs> Write that down. The blessing. You didn't deserve it. You just got it. The blessing. The got blessing. It. The blessing. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I got the blessing of the Pearson's estate. My sister and I shared in the blessing of the Pearson's estate, and I was blessed by that. But I just, I just needed to be born George. And George was a, a rightful partaker of the estate. It belonged well, to you. It belonged to me. But this belongs to us in, right. in the new birth. And this, this I'll give you an example okay. of this, this birth being long before he died, John D. Rockefeller began giving his estate to his son simply by right of birth. Simply by right of, that's good, isn't it? And th this is, these are actually quotes from letters that he wrote to his son. Dear son, I'm giving you 166,072 shares of Standard Oil Company stock. Dear son, I'm giving you $20,688,000 in bonds. 
Dear son, that's awesome. I'm giving you a check for five hundred thousand dollars. It will be available for use next Monday. Monday. What, what fun! <clears throat> By the early 1920s, Rockefeller had turned over close to half a billion dollars to his son, as well as the stewardship of his great fortune. And he wrote to his son, I'm indeed blessed beyond measure to have a son I can trust to do this work. Praise With God. tenderest affection, Father. Isn't that, that's a great story, isn't it? And Praise you know, Gloria, we, we need to be the same way. Yeah. I, I, really, I really see this as a letter from the Heavenly Father to us. I'm indeed blessed here beyond. It is right here. Yeah, I'm indeed blessed beyond measure to have a son or a daughter I can trust to do this work. Isn't that so? With the tenderest affection, Father. I'm sure the Father feels that way because so many people have ignored what the Bible says. They're yes. not even bothered to look at it. The inheritance. That's sits right. There. The it inheritance. Sits there. And it says in Scripture, Proverbs well, thirteen good. twenty-two. And I, I'm about to say something. This is a revelation okay, that I just I, got I'm this moment. It. Proverbs 13, 22, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. Well, God follows his own word. He's a good man. And he's left an inheritance That's right. to us. And here's something to think about. Yes. We, on Sundays, it's our tradition. Yes. Uh, uh, among many, many people, we come together for the reading of the will. We come together for the reading of the will. Take it. Ladies and gentlemen. But if you don't, if you don't pay attention to it, you don't get it. And so when we're in church. Or if you don't come together, you don't know about that's it. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Remember that, <laughs> If Pastor. you don't show up for church, you're going to miss the reading of the will. That's Brilliant. Right. That's right. It's Boy, true. Boy, pastors isn't it? all over the world are going to use that one. I like it. You don't want to miss the reading of the no, will. No, no. Tell your church. Story. I'm going to tell my church that. I'm <laughs> okay. going to tell them. You, you told me to tell them that. <laughs> That's right. So we're well. We're we're out of time. Um, we're heirs of God by the new birth. Um, let me just read this okay. scripture to you. In First Peter one verse four, amplified, we were born anew into an inheritance which is beyond reach of change and decay. It's imperishable, unsullied, unfading, reserved mm -hmm. in heaven for us. That, that we can tap into thy will be done on earth as it is yes, in heaven. Amen. We can tap into our inheritance that's stored for us in heaven right now here on earth. In, yep, verses, in right. verses three and four in the NIV, he's given us, he's given us new birth into an inheritance. Isn't that, that's easy. That's plain enough, isn't it? In Christ Jesus, we're heirs to the vast fortune, fortune of our loving Heavenly Father simply by being born again Praise into the God. royal family. And Praise then I'll finish God. with this. Luke 12, 32, fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And then a good man, Proverbs 12, 22, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. That's it. The only problem we have this morning is we're out of time. Well. <laughs> George and I'll be right back. <laughs> What if someone notified you today that a wealthy relative had died and left you the title deed to everything he owned? And what if that deed provided everything you'd ever need for the rest of your life? Consider yourself notified. When you accepted Jesus as your Lord, all that belongs to the Father became yours. With the Receive Your Inheritance package, you'll learn all of the benefits of being a child of God. You have to know what the will says in order to receive the benefits, and as you hear and read God's Word, your faith will rise to receive your inheritance. In our Covenant with God mini book, Kenneth Copeland teaches using multiple biblical examples exactly what our covenant is and what God included in it. Receive Your Inheritance series is four audio messages that will help you to understand what it means to be beneficiary of everything Jesus provided. God has given you a covenant of provision, but it's not just for your own benefit. It is a testimony that manifests His presence in the earth. Start living your covenant with God. You are the beneficiary of everything Jesus provided through the cross. Start living in your covenant with God. Request your free copy of the Receive Your Inheritance package from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Go to kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special or call 01225 787 310. This free offer is good for 30 days. Postage charges may apply. Contact your regional office. 
for more information. As a child of the king, you have a glorious inheritance mm -hmm. from God. It grants you legal access to live healed, delivered, and prosperous. You became a beneficiary of everything Jesus provided, but you have to find out what he's provided. Yep. So uh, Pastor George is going to share some things with you that'll help you. Yeah. And you know, you're going to have to get in the Word of God. That's right. And find out what belongs to you. Take it like God talking to you. That's what we do. And That's it works. Right. You know, when I first came here, Gloria, this Our Covenant What God book, you might, you might say I cut my teeth on this uh -huh. one. Okay. This, this is so good because I began <clears throat> to find out that I have a covenant with God. And in that covenant, there are benefits to yes, the covenant that yes. I didn't realize that I had before. So this is a powerful Most book. Most people don't realize there's any benefits, George. That's true. And that's Psalm 103, forget not all my benefits, yeah. all your benefits. And then this series by Brother Copeland, Receive Your Inheritance. And this really does expound. That's this good. this can take them to a new level of understanding what belongs to them in Christ. And I'll just read this part in the back. It says, you're, you're an heir of Almighty God. When you made Jesus the Lord of your life, you were not only redeemed out of something, you were oh, given something. Yes, yes, yes. You were given a glorious inheritance. Praise God. So this is going to be a That's benefit. Excellent. And we're sowing it absolutely Good. free. The price is great. So request your free book on KCM.org. And I'm going to pray for you to be healed. Healing belongs to you. Jesus himself bore yes, your sicknesses you, and carried your diseases. And by his stripes, you were healed. And that's a done deal. Thank you. All you got to do is receive it. Father, I pray for every person today who is, who is believing for healing. Mm, and I'm yes. asking you, Lord, and I'm agreeing Thank with you, them Jesus. for healing of every situation in Thank their you. body that needs healing. Mm. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command you to be healed yes. from the top of your head <clears throat> to the soles of your feet. In be Jesus made whole name. in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Take that. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Act on it. Yes. Begin to praise God for it and don't let go of it. And stay you, in the healing scriptures. Read those scriptures every day yes. until there's nothing left in your body that needs heal. Amen. healing. Be sure to join us for a study on joint heirs with Jesus. This is Gloria Copeland and George Pearson's reminding you that Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. The Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast and study notes are made available to you free by the partners and friends of Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Go to our website, kcm.org.uk, and download your free copy today. On kcm.org.uk, you can also access many free word-based resources to help you build your faith. Stay connected with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Keep your faith strong with the Word of God and live in abundant harvest every day this year.